What's up guys, this is the DC Multiverse The Farland Toys The Grim Knight Now before we talk about the figure Let's just put this to the side And take a closer look at the packaging Sorry, let me zoom out Okay, so here's the packaging Comes with the card, the base Closer work Sorry, artwork of the card Okay, that's about it Let's talk about the figure itself. So, here you have it. The Grim Knight at this latest. Now, this is the scarf that's come from the NECA Hayabusa. Now, when it does have a scarf, however, it's um, plastic and it's molded onto the figure itself. Now, the belt and the harness are rubber plastic. Um, when it comes to the belt, you can move it. However, the harness it's glued to its shoulder so you can see i could move the rubber when it comes to the belt however the pistols are molded now you could pose it where he could holster his gun from the side so that could definitely work now it does come with a couple accessories one is the molded plastic piece power guns no details because of paint and it comes with also a grenade launcher and a machine gun mp5 all right now let's talk about articulation now when it comes to articulation head swivel down up you can look up that far and we rotate the ball a little bit up you can make it look higher Go look down about that much. Tilt, tilt. All right. Now, when it comes to the the chest, midsection, and the lower section, it's connected to two ball joints. Give it a good diaphragm rotation. Tilt, tilt. Forward and back. Now it does hinder with the harness, but you can make it work. So you can lean back pretty far. Now when it comes to the butterfly joints, it is a piece of plastic, but it's still pliable. You can make the shoulder go forward and back. But when it comes to the right side, it can still work. It's just a little bit stiff. Now, as far as the shoulders, it's connected with the hinge, so it can move up about that far. Down. Of course, you could go 360, bicep swivel, and go across about that much. Bicep swivel. Double bend at the elbow. Pretty good. Now, when it comes to the wrist, it's on a ball swivel. It does have a hinge depending on the ball position. You could move the wrist down and up. And then you could rotate the hand and then you get that side and the other side. Okay, now when it comes to the legs it doesn't have a shin swivel but it does have a slight shovel on top leg but you can allow it to kick up pretty decent up it does kick a little bit outward but pretty decent and it can kick back about that far pretty good for a back kick pose now when it comes to the knee, they are double jointed knees, very tight, what works. Just be careful about those knee pads because you can pinch. Okay, now as for the ankle, it's kind of odd, it's on a ball joint so you could go up that far, you could swivel a little bit. A little bit odd but works 
and it has a very 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 tight toe hand All right, so that pretty much sums it for articulation. Here's just a breakdown of the the top part, mid part, and the lower part. So they're all connected. Ball peg on the bottom base is the inner legs. So it is connected to a ball peg when it comes to the leg section. And the hinge is right there. So it does have a swivel, but it's just a little bit odd. Okay, that being said, let's get some crazy poses. So here we go. We got the T pose with both shoulders on the up. Lean back all the way back with a combination of every ball joints and the pliable plastic. And then you kick high outwards pretty high to this extreme and then back all the way and almost touches back oh thing right there because of the pliable plastic it allows you to move the joints pretty good okay all right now let's talk about size now standing about roughly about you could argue about seven or right under seven but this is considered a seven inch figure so we're gonna go from there now for size comparison we got the mcfarland dc multiverse the batman who laughs so these are the same batman's just different universe and then next we have a mcfarland toys mk11 spawn so that fits pretty well now noted these three creators they should be about about six two six three and then for last we have a marvel legends retro wave spider-man which in his life scale he's supposed to be about five ten so you could argue that it could fit in scale but when it comes to the the fallen toys seven inch scale they're pretty much within its own line but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching like share and subscribe for more videos